Hi, my name is Lisa Yarabi and I was the project manager of the garden in 2010. The garden is located in front of our business office at 201 Vallecitos de Oro in San Marcos. This is where customers come to pay their bill and this is the first thing that they see when they walk up to the door is the garden. The inspiration for this garden really came one day when driving to work and was starting a job with the conservation department and driving slowly past the landscape that was existing at the time. I know the garden was beautiful when it was first put in, but over the years, it just needed some love. Working for the conservation department, if we were gonna convince anyone to change out their grass and their high water use landscape, we had to set the example first. We needed to get them excited about how beautiful and how interesting a water-wise garden could be. The first steps were very easy. Getting the conservation team on board, they were instantly excited about the project. The next step was getting the management and the board also excited about the project. This was a really easy sell because sustainability has become such an important part of the Vallecitos Water District. Not only saving water and making sure future generations have that water, but also saving energy and other resources as well. Doing a large landscape project like this, it could have been well over $100,000, and that was just not okay. We didn't want to put that upon our ratepayers. We knew we could significantly reduce the costs and make this a win-win project if we could partner with the community. First step was to get a design for this garden and to get some really great sustainability ideas. We contacted the environmental architecture teacher at Palomar College and explained what we were doing. And she was so excited that she made it a class project for the students at the end of the year. She had five groups of students and they each presented a design plan to us. There was a tie between two of the groups, so we decided to merge the two ideas together. One of the design elements was the rainwater harvesting that feeds into the bubbling boulder fountains. The second group came up with an idea to use recycled aluminum awnings to make a nice resting spot. Underneath the awnings, under one, is a bird bath and the other one contains a hand fountain. The design idea behind the hand fountain was that water's precious and we shouldn't let it slip through our fingers. The student that came up with the idea for the hand fountain, he was so excited that we chose his idea. The board had suggested at the time that we use the casting of his hand for the fountain so it would forever be memorialized in our garden. So we had the foundry department at Palomar College. They donated their time and did a casting of his hand. Once we finalized the garden plans, the next step was to get the business community on board. We knew we could never do this on a shoestring budget unless we had the community support. They donated their time, they donated materials or sold it at cost. This would have never come to fruition if we hadn't had the support of the business community. The other supporters that we had was our own employees, and honestly, we couldn't have done it without them. We had our employees out here digging holes, using tractors, building basins for the fountains. Everything they did, this garden wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. They're the hands and feet of this garden. Once we were ready for the plants to go in, we contacted the San Marcos High School Future Farmers of America, and they came out and they helped us put the plants in. So it was really a community effort between the employees, the businesses, the schools. It just blended perfectly to create a sense of community in this garden. There are many sustainable features in this garden. Probably the most notable one is the bubbling boulder fountains that are in front of the building. It really gets people's attention and when they find out that the water that's used for the fountains is directly coming from the rainwater harvesting system, it really piques people's interest in the way that you can be creative and how you're water wise. It enables us to use a water source that would normally be wasted and to reuse it. This also helps protect the environment by reducing the amount of stormwater runoff that goes into the street. Mulch is put on the garden every year, and this is a continual donation. So we hired the female inmates from the California Department of Corrections to help us put down all of the mulch. And it's really a win-win because these women, they get their time reduced for doing community service, and government agencies like Vallecitos can use this to help reduce costs. Mulch helps conserve the water by keeping the moisture in, and it also helps to fertilize the plants as it breaks down. 
This reduces our need to fertilize the garden. But when we do fertilize the garden, we use biosolids that come from our sister agency in Carlsbad. And it's a completely recyclable process that helps fertilize the plants and reuse something that could have normally been a waste. Solar power is used to operate the pumps on our water features. Our solar ports, which cover our employee and fleet vehicle parking lots, they can produce up to 90% of the energy that runs this building. Solar pumps are run off that same solar power. On our hand fountain, we have a small solar pump which operates just that fountain. We have many large boulders and dry riverbeds throughout the garden, and this helps give visual interest without adding any additional water. California Friendly Plants complete the garden by providing year-round color with little water or maintenance. Micro-irrigation is used to provide water to the plants with minimal overspray. In addition, our garden runs off a weather-based irrigation controller, which saves water by using highly efficient technology, which measures the sun and the rain and the temperature to give the plants exactly the amount of water that they need. We also have a display where customers can learn about this technology and how they can use it in their own garden at home. The artificial turf was put in about 15 years ago, so we left it in the garden. It blended perfectly with the other water-wise features. And it also makes a great place for the students to take a break during our school tours. In 2013, Vallecitos' garden was recognized as a certified wildlife habitat by the National Wildlife Federation. The garden provides food, water, shelter, and a place for wildlife to raise their young. It was also recognized as a certified earth-friendly garden by the Master Gardeners Association of San Diego County. In 2017, the garden was recognized as an ocean-friendly garden by Surfrider. My name is Diane Downey and I am the chair of Surfrider's Ocean-Friendly Garden Committee here in San Diego County. An ocean-friendly garden concentrates on conservation, permeability and retention, so CPR. When we look at conserving water in a landscape, we look at using things like mulch on the top of the soil. We look at using native plants because they use less water. We make sure that we've got permeability of the soil. When we add a lot of organic matter to the soil, then the soil becomes more permeable. So when it does rain, it holds on to water. And then retention, we're holding on to that water in our landscape so that the soil itself can clean it and filter it before it ends out in the street or down at the ocean. Here at the Vallecitas Ocean Friendly Garden, I am really impressed. This water district is showing their customers, leading by example, and giving them a really good example of a landscape that they can follow. Any customer coming to the garden will be able to walk through here and see some examples of plants that they really like and would use in their own garden. And they can see the techniques that have been used that make this garden so special and such a, a good example of an ocean friendly garden. The features that I like the most are the very creative recycling of the rainwater into the fountain in the garden. I love the low water and the native plants that you guys have got going on here. And I really like the way that the ground is so nicely, richly mulched. So I know that when it does rain, it's gonna hold on to that moisture. One of the first things we noticed when we put the garden in is the amazing amount of wildlife that we had that were attracted to the garden. They loved the bright flowers, the California native plants, and of course the bubbling boulder features were a huge draw for the birds. Once the wildlife came and the flowers started blooming, we noticed how many more employees were coming and enjoying the garden. We'd see them come out here on their daily walks and do exercising. We'd also see employees come and take their breaks and just have a cup of tea and read their book on their breaks. And that was really neat to see our employees reconnecting to nature and that it had provided a sanctuary for them. At the time the garden was put in, to our knowledge, we were one of the first sustainable demonstration gardens in North County. Many gardens, when they're put in, they go in with great intentions, but 10 years later, it's neglected. And what's been really neat is our landscape crew here on staff, they've really put a lot of their heart and soul into this garden. So eight years later, the garden is just flourishing. It's just a beautiful example of, of employees that care. Hello, my name is Russell Kubota. I'm the landscape maintenance worker too for the Vallecitos Water District. One of the best parts of my job is I get to come out here and work in our sustainable demonstration garden. This garden is about eight years old and you can see it's very well established. We have all kinds of different plants here. They're all very, very drought tolerant. They have very few disease and pest problems. 
Because of that, I have minimal amount of time that I have to spend doing landscape maintenance. This landscape is very sustainable. We have such a good soil base and the natural nutrients that are built in the soil help feed the plants so we don't have to apply very much fertilizing. I water maybe twice a week for about 15 minutes. That's about it. That's why these plant landscapes are so valuable because they don't require a lot of labor for maintenance. It's a therapeutic uh, part of my job to be out here, being able to be around all these beautiful plants and the hummingbirds and the lizards and all the other animals that are kind of cruising around. It's very enjoyable to be out here. Balasitos' sustainable garden has been highlighted in many of our tours of the district. The garden is also highlighted in some community events and also during the school tours. Balasitos is very active with the schools in our area. We have thousands of students that come through and tour the district and part of the tour is the sustainable demonstration garden. Throughout our garden, these beautiful orange poppies, they were all planted by the students. We let them spread the seeds and it just continues that community effect of everybody has their hands on this garden. We also have had homeschoolers and scout troops and even preschools that have come through to learn about the garden. Thank you, Water We offer tours of the garden for our customers during our annual Water Academy tour. And the feedback that we're getting is a lot of them, their favorite feature of the tour is walking through this garden that is just so peaceful and beautiful that they just really enjoy their time here and they learn a lot. When our customers come to pay their water bills, many times they'll walk out of the building and then walk through the garden, which was unexpected. It gives us quite a bit of joy knowing that they're learning about water and energy saving techniques that they can do at home just by walking through our garden and reading the signage and just learning more about sustainability. Balasitos' sustainable garden is just such a nice visual representation of what conservation looks like and how beautiful and interesting it can be. Once the garden was completed, we had an open house and the garden was highlighted in several local newspapers. At Balasitos, we are just so thankful that the community has come together to create this garden. Eight years later, it's still blooming, it's still beautiful. We just can't thank the community enough. All of our business sponsors, our employees that came together, the students at Palomar College and also San Marcos High School. In California, droughts are just a way of life and we have to change our mindset now that gone are the days of lush green grass, that conservation, this is the new normal. We hope that we've created an environment here that customers would be proud to have something similar in their yard. We hope that we've set the example that conservation is for life.